thing um like your ankles are gonna move a lot which is something that's really easy to forget about but um i'll show you like an example of what um what how you'd move your ankles when you're doing a box so always what you want to have with your feet you want them to be um what is it 10 and 2 yeah yeah 10 and 2 so if you if it's a clock that you're standing on you want one foot to be facing the 10 and one foot to be facing the 2 at all times pretty much all the, yeah so so if you if you reach down and you can put like a fist right in between your feet and that's that's how your feet will be so then you do the first step you want to uh i don't if, if you want to do some hip stuff, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, but I'll tell you a little bit about it. So if I'm moving my left foot forward, as you will, at the first step of your box, you're going to want to keep your left hip forward. So yeah, so it's a little bit like this. If you want to do this with me, you can. So, um, so left hip forward, but your feet stay straight. Or, um, stay say at ten 11 to and, one, 10 but, to two. But like facing forward, yeah. So then you're gonna step forward and you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna lift your, your ankle up and step into that. Really, really use your ankle because <laughs> it's, it's easy to forget about your ankles in this stance. So once you do that, then you, your other ankle is gonna come up, lift off the ground and like push you into that step. So while this ankle comes down, your other ankle is coming up. So you're gonna wanna, yeah, okay. I'll show you from the side. Yeah, just I know. yeah you got it. So I'm stepping forward and as my foot comes down, my other one's coming up. So step, this is kind of how you want it to be always. So step and you're kind of switching your feet. Every step you do, is going to be like this. <laughs> Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah? Yeah. Any questions? Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, so we have our 10 and 2. We've got our hips kind of doing their thing. So you're going to step forward on the left. Your left hip goes forward, ankles coming down. And then with your next foot, it's kind of weird, um, but whenever you're moving your right foot, you're gonna want your right hip to come forward. So, so as I'm stepping with my right foot, my right hip is starting to go forward and my ankle comes down, my other ankle lifts up and that's how I get into that second step. And then now I'm here, should I be doing it like this? So you guys can see like this. <laughs> Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, so I just did this, I just did this, and now I'm gonna bring my left foot to come meet my right foot. And when I do that, I'm moving my left foot so my left hip is gonna come forward, right? It's kind of weird to do it, but um, it's gonna happen anyways. <laughs> and then, so now I'm gonna step back with my right foot, and this is probably the weirdest part of the box because as I step back with my right foot my right hip stays forward um and this is where you know this is probably the most confusing part but so I'm stepping backwards but my foot or my <laughs> this hip is still forward does that make sense to you guys do you see this how my right foot here is backwards but my right hip is still it's still in forward. front of my left hip yeah so always your hips are going to either be in the front or the back and you're kind of switching between them throughout these boxes so and and just the rule if you're moving your right foot your right hip is forward if you're moving your left your left hip is forward and that's going to be applied to pretty much all of rumba um so let's just do a couple with those things in mind um, and if you ever just want to stop thinking about one of those things, you can and just focus on the other stuff. Um, and let's just do a couple boxes together. Um, should we have music or count it? Yeah, we can count just it. we can just count it. If you want to go a different tempo, that's fine. And remember, the the tempo for Rumba is slow, quick, quick. So we're gonna take our first step on slow, slow. and then it's quick, quick, and then we're gonna go back slow, quick, quick. 
slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. <laughs> yeah. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And pretty much the more that you can get your hips to like move in the vertical direction, kind of the better. What you don't want to be doing is pushing your hips backwards at all. And this gets a little, little bit confusing. You always want to make sure your hips are being pushed forward, I guess. <laughs> um, so you're really like moving through the hip when you do this. And if anybody wants clarification on what <laughs> that really means, um, I can give you that, but it, it might, it might, I might just have to do that. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to show you a side profile here so you can kind of see what I mean by pushing through your hips. So I'm, oh, oh, and another thing, you're going to, you're going to want to be pitched forward. So, so if I'm standing, if I'm standing right now and I'm about to do my rumba, I don't want to be up and down vertical. I want to be a little bit forward. I don't know how many degrees it is, <laughs> maybe like 15. Uh, 15, yeah. You're just gonna want your whole body to just be like kind of leaning over to the point where you're almost falling, but you're not, um, which, is, which is how basically this falling motion is what like propels your steps. And um, I know it'll be a lot. <laughs> uh, you don't have to think about this if you don't want to, but um, basically if, like the professional people, they're always like falling into their steps. But you don't necessarily have to think about that right now. So when you're leaning forward, feel your weight in your feet. You can kind of start standing straight up and feel it almost in your ankles. And as you lean forward, you can feel your weight move in your feet from your ankles through the ball of your feet up to your toes if you want to. That's too far. We want to make sure that we're feeling our weight right in the, ball. In the inside ball of your foot. Right here ish this around is, there this is where you feel it <laughs> so you can practice kind of starting straight up maybe lean backwards just for fun lean forwards and find that spot where your weight's just nice in the inside ball of your foot yep and honestly when i dance rumba my my ankles don't ever really touch the ground or my heel um which is because i'm practicing as if i was wearing heels and women or follow us that's how you'll be doing it but um yeah, when you put your foot down, you can put it all the way down, but also you can, it's possible to just like lightly brush. It should be moving though, yeah. It should not just always be up like this. There should, your ankles should be brushing, moving. Brushing the ground steps. when you when you step with them, yeah. Okay. That's... So let's, let's do a couple of those. Thinking about being pitched forward, thinking about having your weight on the balls of your feet. Your toes at 10 and 2 or 11 and 1, just kind of like a pizza. Kind of like a little pizza. Pitch forward. Maybe thinking about your hips, but let's take it one thing at a time. <laughs> let's just let's just practice that a little bit, okay? Slow. slow quick, 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 quick. Slow. <laughs> quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick. I'm just not gonna stop counting, but you guys can go at your own pace. <laughs> You're killing it. Good job, everyone. Boxes. So yeah, boxes are honestly one of my favorite things to do. We can take a we can take a quick a quick pause. Um yeah. Good job, you guys. <laughs> Boxes are one of my favorite things to do. Um, I just think they're kind of fun and there's a lot kind of going on. There's definitely a lot of things to think about with your feet, your ankles, your hips. Um, you wanna make sure that the top of your body sort of stays square, kind of stays calm. That's another thing to think about when you're doing bromba. Um, so I'm moving my hips. Not like this, but this is bad. you couldn't really tell what I'm doing based if you're just looking at like the top of me. And also, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to throw too much at you, but I'm just going to kind of give you the lowdown. Um, and I'll repeat 
a lot of these things again, but your head isn't really bobbing up and down. Um, and the reason why that is, is because um, it has to do with absorbing it in your knees. But basically, as I step forward, my knees are being bent, so everything kind of stays on the same plane. My knees are absorbing all of the, I guess, the height that you would ordinarily get if you were stepping, because if I was just regularly stepping, I guess I don't really know. <laughs> You just want to make sure your head stays on the same vertical plane, horizontal plane throughout the stance. Yeah. Um, Should we talk about a move? I don't know. What moves have we done? Well, we go over the choreography. Yeah, let's go over the choreography. How do we feel about the choreography from the past two weeks? Do we remember it? Have you guys looked at the YouTube videos at all? Is that helpful? Do you know it? Do you want to go over it? Thoughts? I'm good up until like the last like part that we learned with the like hip twists. I can't remember what she yeah. called them. The time yeah. steps. Those threw me off so much. They threw us off too. Yes. That's a big problem as well. The, 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 the last part. Uh, as, uh, uh, with, uh, with the has the with rock the steps. The, these are called these are called cucarachas, the where you just kind of like do the shimmy thing <laughs> that she was talking about. Um, we'll go over that. Yeah. Okay. Anything okay. else? Thoughts? Let's just let's just go over the choreography again. All right. So well, uh, uh, we'll do it once and then follow. If you want to do it with us, you can. I'll say it as we do it. We can just do it separately. Sure. Okay. So yeah. we're going to start with two just straight on boxes. So we're not rotating our body at all. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now we're going to do two more boxes but we're slightly rotating to the left now as we do this. I don't know if this is the left on your screen. You're should on left. The, should we do this backwards? <laughs> Let's do it backwards. I feel like that's what's helpful. Okay. Okay, so now for our next two boxes, after we do our first two that are just kind of straight on, now we're going to be rotating our box. So take a little bit of like a step a, to the left. Like 30, 30 degrees? 45? I don't know. Not a full, complete turn, but just towards that direction. Slow, quick, quick. Now our step back is also kind of going to rotate us some more. Slow, quick, quick. We should be 180 degrees ish from where we started. We'll do another rotating box. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. So on each one, you're going to, so on each slow, quick, quick, you'll be 90 degrees apart from where you were. Yeah. And then on the second one, you'll be 100. So a whole box will, will take you 180. Yeah. Oh, yes, one full box should have you 180 degrees from where you started. If I'm starting here, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Now I'm here. Yeah. Yep. So two of them will get us three. Six. <laughs> Some math. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to start our next box. So we're going to do a half of a box, slow, Quick, quick, and now is here is where we do our open reverse, open reverse. So with our right foot, we're gonna step backwards, kind of with our foot tilted. Do you see how I'm not stepping straight back, but instead kind of a foot tilt step. Foot tilt step. <laughs> foot tilt step. Step, take this front leg and swing it around. We're gonna step like forward. And now here's where our rock step is. Okay. Um, Step, rock, I think. Oh my gosh. Should we do it together? <laughs> <laughs> is this going to help you? No, because okay. Lisa does a different. Uh, do my friend. No. <laughs> Slow, rock, step, and now we're good. Okay, okay. So we're stepping so back. Let's, our, let's go over a rock step and what that, what that entails. Okay. okay. So when we're taking a normal step, 
for example, in a box, right? We step forward and now our weight is on our front foot. More so, or less. So, so yeah, so at the end of this, you could, you could lift up. Although you've got a split weight for most of this. Yes. Imagine that all your weight is on your front foot. So now in a rock step, what we're doing is we're simply just gonna place our foot down and then go back to our original foot. So it's not a step per se, it's just kind of like a place and then go back. So none of my weight when I'm stepping is gonna go on the, on the, on the blue sock here. So I'm just gonna place it, but all my weight is gonna like stay basically back here. So I'm just placing kind of, and then stepping back. So I guess a little bit of weight, but then most of it is gonna stay like back on this pink foot. <laughs> That's a rock step. That's a rock step. And, and those are sort of transitioning steps. We'll do a lot of them in rumba. Yeah. yeah, so place and then step back. If you wanna practice that a little bit, you can in this time. <laughs> step back. Place, place, step back. Place, place, step back. Place, step back. Whoosh, whoosh. Rock step. Try with the other foot. Yeah, try with the other foot. <laughs> it's creepy to say. I feel <laughs> For the most part, yeah, you'll pretty much always be going forward on your on your left, on your left foot. Yeah. Rock. Okay, I hope it was right. You guys. I may be throwing in an extra step here, so I'm sorry if this is wrong. We'll find out on Thursday. Yeah, we'll figure it out on Thursday, but just go with us. <laughs> From, okay, we did our half of a box now after we've done our two rotating boxes, slow, quick, quick. We're taking a back step that's kind of tilting our foot here. Then we're gonna swing this leg around, step, no step. This is the part that might be an extra step, I think. Step here, and then we're gonna do our rock step on back. So we should, our weight should be on our right foot right now. No, that's wrong. I, should have left foot. I think we did two side steps before the rock step. So like we turned, we turned 90 degrees, and then we went side side, and then we did the rock step, and then turned all the way to the back. Yeah, I think it was right. Okay. I remember doing that. Do oh, me? No. <laughs> Wait, so, so swing, side, side, and then rock step. And then like this. So after the swing, we do one, two, and then the rock step has us back on this foot. And then we can do our, and then we can our class do our OK. Yeah. OK, thank you for that. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the student teaches the teacher. Look at that. All right. <laughs> okay, so from after a half of a box, <laughs> corrected version. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so it's like this, and then we swing, and then we take our two steps, and then we're going to do a rock step where, I'm going to scuttle back here, we're going to do a rock step like this. Rock step. And now our weight should be all the way back on our left foot here, which will, oops, left foot, which will get us ready for Crossover breaks. Yep. And the crossover break is something that you could spend ages talking about. So we'll only, but we'll go over a little bit of technique for it. So when you do, oh, any questions? Sorry. I thought the rock step was back on your right foot. So your right foot would be back because then you swing it. Yes. <laughs> You're muted right now, Colleen. Okay, can you see that? So it was turn, step, step, back on your right foot, then forward on your left to do this. Uh, and then we're going to our crossovers. Yeah. <laughs> so you rock back on the right foot, step forward on the left, quick, quick. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Colleen. <laughs> I was like, it's not on the left foot. I swear it was on the right foot. <laughs> 10 points for you and 10 for Luke too. We'll be keeping a tally and you get a fun prize at the end of the semester. <laughs> okay, um, so let's see here. Did you get that? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do that. So from backwards, we're stepping back with our right foot. We're gonna swing around with our front foot, which is our left foot. We're gonna rock back on our right, like Colleen says. And then we're gonna rock back forwards onto our left foot. So our right foot is free for a side step now. And this is the prep for our crossover break. So all of that again. We do our half of a box, slow, quick, quick. Our right foot is gonna come back and turn a little bit. Our left leg is gonna swing forwards. We'll rock back on our right, rock back forward to our left, and a side step to get ready for our crossover break. Does everybody have that? <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit. So let's go into the crossover yes. break. So um, we'll just do it in partnership so you can see what that looks like, um, but we'll keep it down to zero. Okay, so, so we're, here we are. So we've come out of our, um, what was it called? Open reverse. Thing that we just did. <laughs> and we're gonna step right with our right foot here. We're stepping with our right foot and we're going to pivot on that foot and bring our other foot, which, is my left and Lila's right because we're in partnership. Yeah. So, so for for Luke and Emma, yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna step forward with your um, I guess the foot that you're oh. moving forward with. <laughs> <laughs> if if our crossover break is going forward towards you, then we're gonna step with that foot, the foot that goes towards you. So. So we're gonna take a step and plant that foot right there. Really get that in there. And this is, and then we're gonna basically swing open like a door. So imagine if your other foot is like, I don't know, the, the door and your planted foot is the hinge. <laughs> it's gonna be just like a swinging door. So step, make the hinge, swing, swing her open. And, and when you do this, your foot is gonna be articulated. So an articulated foot looks like this. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have a little bit of a, kind of square thingy, it's gonna come up. It's articulated. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be like a rock step in that, I'll do it sideways like this, in that um, most of my weight is still gonna be on this back foot. I'm just really placing this one here. It's really just a placement and then it's gonna come back eventually, like pretty quickly. So you're gonna step out, place, step back. So, Practice a little bit of that. And you're gonna want your, your back foot is going to, um, it's gonna rotate. And it helps if you're not on carpeting. <laughs> I know that we're doing it on carpeting, but if you can be in a place that is hardwood, that's ideal for dancing. And you're gonna wanna wear socks because um, slipperiness is important. I know that was something that I made a mistake with when I did dancing because I bought really like, shoes that were grippy, but you don't want those. Okay. Well, let's talk about hands. All right. We're gonna bring it up so you can see our top halves now. <laughs> All right, crossover breaks are really fun because they're a nice time for, I think, oh, sure. for you to display how cool you look. We get this nice little picture here. Look at us. Oh, picture. Oh, picture. Okay. <laughs> so what we're doing with our hands is one hand is gonna stay in partnership. So your forward hand, we're gonna high five. Kind of, and it's like a high five, but your elbow is, is oh. <laughs> parallel to the ground, it's up, which is mostly where your elbow is gonna be throughout the dance. Um, and we're kind of high fiving, yeah, if you can see it looks like this, but just turned. Yep. Here, should we just show that again? So it's like this, but we've turned it. <laughs> this is the front hand. And then the back one looks like this. So Ben's hand is kind of like handshake. Like position. A, so, yep, handshake. And then the girl or the follow is going to go over it. Oh, just right like over the Like a, like a, wow. did you guys get that, Luke and Emma? Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah? Okay, cool. Sweet. So, and then what you're going to do is when you take the step forward, you're going to put pressure here. <laughs> you're going to spin off of each other almost. That was a bad one. <laughs> maybe. So, you're going to do, yeah, like push kind of like off of this hand. And then it's gonna bring you into this big old arm motion here that you have, like those, like our swinging. Um, and basically, 
Oh yeah, and you're gonna wanna bring the back hand forward. Do you guys see that? So the back hand is gonna like just move forward. And then it's gonna come back. And then it's gonna come forward back. Forward. Yeah, so. And back. Forward. And back. Forward. And back. Crossover breaks. You can practice this alone as well, Colleen Schwai. Yep. Crossover breaks. Let's talk yeah. about the swinging arm a little okay, bit. Okay, this is good. This is a fun, this is a nice crossover break drill. Crossover break drill. So the arm that we're swinging, there's an important way that we have to swing it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our arm, fully extend it. Yep. And you're just going to like push it back to where, you know, it can't go back anymore. Your arm is pretty much going to be either like a little bit above level or level. I think, yeah, it's roughly the swinging motion is going to kind of go up a little bit. You don't ever want to swing downwards. That does not look good. Yeah, so when you do a crossover break, you want to make sure your arm is kind of going up at a little bit of an angle. Or if, if you if you shoot for going up, then you'll make sure that you don't go down. Because if you aim for going horizontal, you'll probably end up dipping your hand. It's so yeah. It's important though that we don't get too high either. So we're not going to be up here when we're doing our crossover break because this is not. Yeah, <laughs> it's not easy. You will hurt yourself. Yeah, you'll probably just like an angle, sort of like I guess thirty degrees um, above the horizontal. Yeah, above yeah. the horizontal. And so when you do this, you're just gonna basically take your arm and swing it naturally, like a child. If you take <laughs> if you take both of your arms and kind of go like this, just kind of like mess around. This is essentially what you're gonna be doing. So yeah, just do some swinging with me, if if you will. <laughs> so swing around, go nuts up. Yeah, so basically what you're using is this momentum. And this is what's gonna get you to have your arms be awesome. So when you do, when you do the crossover bank, you're basically just like swinging it out and to the point where it stops, where it naturally stops. Cause you know, you definitely don't overextend it. We don't want you to hurt yourselves. But go to where it naturally stops and then just swing it back. Just like, just a little bit of this. You know, really use all that momentum you got building up in you to just kind of swing it and then swing it back. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's how you want to be doing your arms. Um, does anybody have any questions about that? That was a lot of information I recognize. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And look, I would say go a little bit higher with the angle, but you got it otherwise than that. Yeah. Yeah. And you want, um, yeah, you want to make sure that your you, your arm is straight. We want to make lines with us, but um, but don't. I guess I guess sort of what it does is it goes from from bent to straight. And I, if you're like me, you've got this wacky ass thing that your your elbow does mm. where it extends mm. too far. You know, kind of looks messed up. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have that, but if you do, um. Try your hardest not to overextend because that's the, you just want your arm to get straight from bent. Bent to straight and then back again. And you want to make sure you the way you come back is the same way you came out. So the path that my arm takes when it comes out is the same path it takes when it comes back in. Yep. 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 Awesome. Let's practice a little bit of those. Do a little bit of One. twisting out, coming back. Two. If you're feeling super confident, you can switch up the sides. Oh yes. And do your <laughs> yeah, other do, side. Definitely when you're practicing these, do the other side as much as you do um, each side. You want to do each side evenly. <laughs> so that you should we talk about suspenders? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um a really important concept for crossover breaks and honestly bottom dance in general is the idea of your sides so we have a left and a right side obviously but it's not your like left side and your right side it's like the right and left half of the front of your body so if you imagine that you're wearing a big pair of suspenders you have your left suspender and your right suspender and so we never want to be showing we always want to be showing only one of those sides. So when I'm doing a crossover break, I don't want to be like this because now you can't see either of my suspenders. 
I want to come forward enough that my left suspender side is forward, but not too far that you can't see it and not far enough that you're just kind of like, well, what's going on there? Yeah. So, yeah. So basically, yeah, he did. <laughs> yep. And pretty much all of dance, you're either going to have one suspender side forward or the other one, and it switches off. We don't have to get too much into that. But when you, but in crossovers, you're going to want to make sure that this suspender is the one that you present when your hand goes back. So if you can, so, so I'm kind of, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not, so not like this, not like this, which no, is too okay. far. So not like this. Wrong, that's Wrong. bad. It does, just and not like this, like you don't want to be sideways. <laughs> but you want that nice like in the middle, kind of like, kind of area. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense you guys? Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> We can also think about this. Yeah, in boxes. So suspenders um, come up again in boxes. So if I'm, I wish you could see all of, yeah, okay, we'll do this. Um, so if I'm going forward on my <laughs> left foot, as, as one will, I'll go forward and as my left hip comes forward, my left suspender is also coming forward. And same with, um, I go to the right, my right hip comes forward and my right suspender comes forward. So your suspenders are moving with your hips. And I know I said, I guess that kind of contradicts what I said before about <laughs> keeping yourself like, but for them, like, like you're still showing it, but like you're, you're not necessarily moving your, shoulders that much a balance <laughs> it's a little tricky maybe you don't have to think about this but as you're going forward you can think about um you can try if you want to thinking about showing your suspenders through all parts of dancing <laughs> yeah oh, uh -oh. oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that is, that is the content <laughs> for today. Yeah. Are there questions? Are there things we want to go over more? Do you just want to listen to Lila and I talk? Because we can do that. <laughs> I realized with me. Go ahead. <laughs> um, how do you do, so we were doing like this side crossover. How would you do like the other side? Yeah, so it's- Same, same, everything is the same, just different hands. So if Lyle and I are doing first, we're gonna go this side, right? My um, left hand is out in handshake position and my right hand is coming forwards like this. So if we wanted to do the other side, we just flip. So now my right hand is kind of in this handshake position and left hand is like this for us to flip and do that. So the back hand is always handshake and over, and the front one is always that little high five thing. Yep. Yeah. Does that make sense? Kind of like switch between them, like right after each other? Yes. So, oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really fun to go back and forth. So we'll do one this way, and then we'll do one this way. And now we'll be back here and over here. So, really so basically the difference is when he, when in the switching, he offers his hand like, like a handshake each time. So we'll do it kind of close and slowly. So, <laughs> so we'll start here and it's like this. And then he offers the hand like that as a handshake. As a handshake. Yeah. And then, yeah, you take that and then you switch this one over. You just kind of like switch it. I don't know how you take it away. <laughs> and then he offers it as a handshake again back here. If you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Good job. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, going back to the rock step, I realize there are two steps. There is a, so hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh it's yeah we'll figure out the we'll figure out the choreography because yeah. it's slow or so you're, you're beating your box you go back slow quick quick slow quick quick slow 
and yeah. then crossover breaks. That looks good. Can you do that again real quick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're at the beginning of your box. And so you go back, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and then into your crossover breaks. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> No, and then it's this. No, oh, wait. Just a regular one. Okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. You know, next time we do this, we're gonna look over the that and gonna have it before they come here. <laughs> but thank oh. you for that. <laughs> Anything else, you guys? Other thoughts, questions, choreography, just ballroom in general. Thoughts about the pod the system. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> so um, there was talk about coming up with names for our pods. I don't know. I don't know. 